Let's say you've just started with Premiere Pro, you're still learning the basics and you're relatively new with the whole thing. Or you could be a someone who's been using this software for a while, but never experienced or faced this problem. So imagine that you start a project, you've been editing it for a few hours and then you decided you had enough for today and exit the program. Then the next day you go to Premiere Pro to continue working on your project and all of a sudden you see that. You see this horrible red screen. Those files are not editable. You can't do anything with them. Your project is ruined. The tour that you have to start all over again from the beginning is just devastating. But don't worry guys, because there is a solution to this problem. So without wasting more time, let's go to my laptop and show you how you can fix that. Inside Premiere Pro, you can see that I have loaded a video and audio file. Then the next thing I'll do is go to the location where I downloaded them and that's in my downloads folder. And as you can see, I have created a new folder over there. Then I'll select both files and move them to this new folder. And when we go back to Premiere Pro, you can see the straight away We've got this red screen with all these languages saying that the media is offline. And ideally, we don't want this ever to happen to our project. But as I said, there is a solution for this. And you can see that we've got offline all, offline, cancel or locate. In this case, I'm going to click on locate. And from here, because I know that I moved those two medias to this new folder, I'm going to go straight to this new folder and locate the video. I'm going to click on it twice and then I'm going to press OK. And bam, now we've got this file relinked with Premiere Pro. And again, your project is editable and it's saved. Also, there is one more way to do this. Again, I'm going to go back to this new folder. Then I'll select both files and change the location again. I'm going to place them over here. And I go back to Premiere Pro and again, they are offline. The second way of doing it is go back to locate. We're going to click on it. And this time we're going to click on search and make sure that you tick this box where it says display only exact name matches. And bear in mind that this will take a bit longer to find the files because Premiere Pro will search all around your files in your computer. So make sure that you remember where you put those files. Otherwise, it will take longer to find them. So next, I'll click on search and I'll automatically Premiere Pro will start looking for those files. But because this might take a while, I'll come back when those files are found. And now when Premiere Pro found the file, I'll select it and click OK. And again, the project is safe and you can continue with your editing. And that's how you can relink a offline file in Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see, it's not so difficult, but if you don't know how to do it, it's hell of a challenge. I hope that this video is going to help a lot of video creators who are experiencing this problem for the first time. And also, if you got any value from this video, please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. And I guess that's all for this video, guys. But please don't forget to check the videos at the end of this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.